In this video, we will talk about some iterative functions. Iterative functions are those functions which are composed of themselves. So we use the same function again and again in different ways to get the new values. Let me give you an example which we'll solve now. fn equals to f of n minus 1. Let's say 5 times f of n minus 1 minus 3 times f of n minus 2. So we're trying to generate a function from its previous values. In this case, previous two values. So, you know, we should know at least two values to start with. So let f of 1 be equal to minus 1 and f of 2 equals to 2. And let's say we need to find f of 5. So f of 5 is what we'll try to calculate. Okay. So let's start. We know f of 1. We know f of 2. Let's start with f of 3 using the given equation. So f of 3 is equal to 5 times f of n minus 1. That means 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. Minus 3 times f of n minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay. Now here f of what is f of 2? It is given as plus 2. So we'll write this as 2. Minus 3 times f of 1, which is minus 1. We'll write minus 1 here. And calculate f, f of 2 times 5, which is 2 times 5. In this case, is 10. And minus times minus is plus. So we get plus 3. So 10 plus 3 is 13. So f of 3 for us equals to 13. Now, we can find f of 4. f of 4 equals to, use the same formula, 5 times f of 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. Minus 3 times f of 4 minus 2, which is 2. So 5 times f of 3. f of 3 we just calculated. 13. Minus 3 times f of 2 f of 2 is given to us as 2. So 5 times 13, 3 times 5, 15, 5, 1, 65. And minus 3 times 2, 6. Which results into 65 minus 6 as 59. So we get f of 4 equals to 59. Let's find f of 5. f of 5. We'll use the values of f of 4 and f of 3 to find f of 5 using our given equation, okay, in function notation. 5 times f of 5 minus 1, which is 4, minus 3 times f of 5 minus 2, which is 3, equals to 5 times f of 4 is 59, minus 3 times f of 3 which is 13 so 5 times 59 you can do some easy calculation here like sometimes when the numbers are like this what you can do is you can treat 59 as 60 minus 1 does it make sense 5 times 60 minus 1 and 5 times 60 is 300 minus 5 which is 295 so we can write this as 295 minus 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 1 is 3 39 and 295 minus 39 will give you 256 so f of 5 equals to 256 i hope you appreciate the method like this well in this question we wanted to find f of 5 but we can go on. We can find f of 6, f of 7, and like this. But remember, to find any particular value of the function, we need to know previous two values and repeat the process. So this type of function 
is called iterative function. And using previous two values, we can find the next value. I hope you understand how we have done it.